beautiful country of Ethiopia is home to 86 ethnic groups, making Ethiopia one of the most cultural and linguistically diverse nations of East Africa. With the Oromo and the Amhara and the Tigray people making up more than 75% of the population, while other tribes consist of other numbers of the population in the country. Well, today we're going to be talking about the Amhara tribe of Ethiopia. Please stay tuned. <laughs> Among the many ethnic groups in Ethiopia, the Amharas are the second largest ethno-linguistic group after the Oromo people. Their language is Amharic, which is pronounced Amharic, and it is widely spoken in Ethiopia today. Amhara people are an ethnic group traditionally inhabiting the northern and the central highlands of Ethiopia, particularly the Amhara region. According to the website peoplesgroup.org 2023, the Amhara people numbered 33,319,000 individuals comprising of 27% of Ethiopia's population. And also, majority of the Amhara people are part of what is known as the Ethiopia Orthodox Church, which is an ancient Christian church founded around the 4th century. For the Amara people, their official language is Amharic and it comes with a rich history and its own unique alphabet that is indigenous to them. The word Amharic is pronounced Amharic and it is widely spoken in Ethiopia today. When it comes to folklore, the Amara culture has a rich wealth of folklore in the form of proverbs, legends, myths and religious parables. These folklore often teaches the moral lessons to children and reminds people of proper conduct. When it comes to religion, the Amara people are mostly Christians. Their Christianity religion dates back as far as the 4th century AD. The ancient Amhara culture had unique writing system and therefore there is a wealth of texts that has preserved the ancient teachings of the Christianity in a language that is hardly spoken today what remains the language of the church. The name of this unique language is called Gis. Since Gis is used only in the context of their religion, which is Christianity, its function is similar to that of Latin in the Roman Catholic Church. Majority of the Amhara people have a patron saint who is recognized on the saint's day. The celebration involves the host throwing a party for relatives and friends at his or her homestead, serving coffee and small treats, and having hours of conversation together. There are also more than 200 days of the year in the Coptic Christian calendar that prescribe fasting including Easter. Additionally, there are secular holidays such as Battle of Adwa 
celebrating the victory over the Italians in the year 1896. When it comes to traditional clothes, the Amhara people live in a cold high altitude. Therefore, their clothing is designed to conserve body heat. The Amharas in the city of today commonly wear western type clothing, but many still prefer the native dress, which consists of drumpore trousers and a long shirt covered by soft sheet sized cotton wrap called agabi. This cultural wears is worn by both men and women and also the style of these clothes varies according to the gender of the person. When it comes to coffee, for those that don't know, Ethiopia has the birthplace of coffee. Coffee ceremony is a very large part of the Ethiopian culture. It is a ritual involving the brewing, the serving and drinking of coffee. In Ethiopia, coffee is a major part of everyday life. Coffee is served during festivities, social gatherings, among friends, as well as a daily enjoyment. The ceremony is typically conducted by one female who is dressed in a white clothing with embroidery. The first step in brewing the coffee is to roast and wash the coffee beans. This is done on top of a small charcoal stove. Once the coffee is roasted and washed, it is grounded by a pestle or by a blender. Then the grounded coffee is then brewed in a traditional homemade clay pot called jebena. The serving of the coffee is the most meaningful part of the ceremony. The youngest child is then sent out to announce when the coffee is being served. And the child is to bring the cup of coffee to the oldest person in the room first, then to the others. This is a symbol of connecting all the generations through the serving of coffee. The woman leading the ceremony finally serves the coffee in tiny cups to her friends and families who have watched the process of the coffee being brewed. The woman pours a stream of coffee into each little cup from a height of one foot without an interruption. A talent like this requires years to practice. Coffee is part of the Amhara tradition. Coffee is part of the Ethiopian tradition as a whole. The Ethiopian coffee ceremony is an important part of Ethiopian culture because it is a way of bringing communities, families, friends and well wishes together. Through the coffee ceremonies, ideas and stories can be shared. Rituals like this help to spread culture, language and tradition down through many generations. When it comes to food and agriculture, the range of attitude in Ethiopia allows a great variety of food crops to be grown. In the highlands, the Amara grow barley, wheat, hops, and a variety of beans. In the mid-range altitude, the farmers can grow millet and teff, another variety of wheat. The major export cash crop Coffee is grown in this mid-range ecology. Coffee is an important part of Ethiopian cuisine, but it is also produced for export. The Amhara grow cayenne pepper, which is also central to the cuisine of Ethiopia. Cayenne pepper is mixed with any of a dozen other spices to make traditional Ethiopian beba sauce. When it comes to traditional food and traditional cuisines, the Amara people are rich with different cultural food. 
The Amara cuisine consists of various vegetables or spicy meat side dishes and entries. Usually, a wort of thick stew served on top in jarra, a large sotto flattened bread made of teff flour in the shape of pancakes, usually of about 30 to 45 centimeter in diameter. And also, the Amara people have different type of traditional food as well, not just the stew and the bread, which is the teff. They have all the traditional foods as well. In short, Ethiopia is home to different variety of food and the Amhara people are good farmers. The Amhara people with their rich culture has different types of cultural dances. But one of them which is the most popular one is the Eskista. The dance is done by moving both shoulders in a unique way. And this particular dance is famous and widely danced in Ethiopia today. Soccer, known as football, is a passion among most Ethiopians. Almost immediately, the Walia Ibex with a dangerous ball. Magnet. Running is also a very important sport as well as a mode of physical conditioning. Amhara and other Ethiopians are prime marathon runners in the world today, and they are well known for breaking records all over the world today. There is also a traditional sport called Ghana, which is similar to hockey. When it comes to entertainment, the Amara people is rich in entertainment as well, including music, movies, comedies, dance, art, and many more. They have great musicians that has graced the ears of the African people with their lovely melodies. The list goes on. And just in case you don't know, the word or the term Rastafarianism that the Jamaicans normally use, Rastafari, Rastafari, comes from the Omaric word Rastafari. And it is the pregnant title of Haile Selassie I. It composed of the Omaric word Ras, literally means head, an Ethiopian title equivalent to a duke. Many Rastafarians learn Amharic as a second language as they consider it to be a sacred language. After Haile Selassie in the year 1966 visited Jamaica. The most rousing, boisterous, tumultuous welcome ever given to any visiting or local celebrity, His Imperial Majesty Haile Selassie I, Emperor of Ethiopia, arrived. Study circles in Amharic were organized in Jamaica as part of the ongoing exploration of Pan-African identity and culture. 
So when next you hear the word Rastafari, Rastafari or Rastafarianism, just know the word or the term came from the Amhara people. And it was originally linked to the word Rastafari, which is Haile Selassie's pre-regnant name. You ask I, who is Rastafari? Mm -hmm. Rastafari is I. Yes. I stand Rastafari. Every eye stand Rastafari. Right. I and I. Rastafari. Highly. Celestial eye. Rastafari is sun, moon, and star. Rastafari is everywhere you are. It's snow, wind, rain. Here comes Rastafari again. And overall, the Amhara people and the Ethiopian people in general are wonderful people that are good to be mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, business partners and lovely neighbors. God bless Ethiopia and God bless your Mara people of Ethiopia. So guys, I hope you guys have learned one or two things today about the lovely Amhara people. And I want to say very big thank you for listening to this particular segment. If you have other tribes you want me to talk about, please let us know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.